Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Media Math Classic TV and today I'm going to show you how to calculate using Microsoft Word. Most of you might think that uh, Word cannot cut out calculations, but today I'm going to prove you wrong. You can cut out simple calculation using Microsoft Word. And here is what we are going to do. And I want you to follow this video to the end so that you can understand what I'm talking about. So to start with, if you have a table like this one of mine, what you're supposed to do is just to click where you want that answer to be. We just, I'm just going to click on this box. Uh, in this first row of USA, I'm going to click there. And just I want the answer to be here, this one. I want this max to accumulate the answer here. And what I'm supposed to do, I'll go here to layout, and then I click formula, and this box will come. As you can see, this formula is, is equal to sum into bracket left. So what I'm supposed to do, I'll click OK. And uh, the same will apply to this. I'll go back to that formula. And then, as you can see here, they say is equal to sum above. So I'll remove this above and I replace with, I, I type there, left. And then I click. So those who don't understand the meaning of left is that uh, they are trying to calculate these figures going this way. That's why they say left. So the whole process will continue just like that. So if you want to make it easier, you can actually delete that above and then you replace with left. Then you highlight the whole formula, you copy and then you click OK which means next time when you go back to that formula again, you only paste. Like here, I just want to highlight this, and then I paste instead of uh, typing left, left all the time. So here, I'm going to do the same until I finish this work. And once I'm done with this, I'm also going to show you how to calculate the average of these subjects using this same, same formula. So here, you will continue with what I have illustrated for you earlier. Then you continue up to, up to the end. It is a, a little bit tiresome, but you need to be patient. You need to exercise a little bit of patience in order to finish this work. It's not like that one of the Excel, if you are used to Excel. This one, it has just a simple way of coming up with these calculations here. Like I said, this Microsoft Word has the wide range of study. So what we're supposed to do is for you just to get the information bit by bit until you finish it. So you can see I'm about to finish with my calculations. And uh, I'm going to show you how you can calculate average using this same formula. And then uh, I'm going to show you the meaning of above. So above, it means that you are going to calculate the whole of this one here going downward. That's why they say above, we are going to calculate this. So it has calculated the above figures. You see, it has calculated, it has given you the uh, the calculation for the above figures. So that's why it has said above. So that was the, the sum for the performance of these subjects here. So another thing is for you to calculate what we call average of the, uh, of the subjects. So here I can even change the topic and then I say average. So to calculate average, you'll have to go back to that formula once again. And then here, you will remove this sum and then you will replace with average. So you have to remove like that. And then you come here to function. You can see here. And then you can, you, you can replace it with average. You can remove those brackets. Just re re replace that one with average then you click OK you can see it has given you the average for these subjects so you will continue the same thing or you can even decide to delete like that and then you write average into bracket 
left and then you close bracket so you can decide to copy the whole formula so that you can keep pasting you can see it is continuing to give you the figure so here i'm going to replace with that So you continue with the same exercise until you finish the calculations. So there's no way you can do uh, these uh, calculations automatically like that one of Excel. So here you just do it manually, but it gives you the same answer as it could be in Excel. Like that. So you can see I have already calculated the average for this particular uh, subject performance. So if you want to do something else, maybe in that formula you can easily go there and then you can choose the you can choose the the function that you want to follow if you want like maximum minimum performance you have to use that one and then it will give you the answer guys that is how you can do some mathematics using microsoft word it's just as simple as that so if you found this video productive and you want to promote this channel in terms of subscribing please do so so that next time when i post a video like this you will be able to be notified thank you see you in the next video